guys, it's Kim here. Welcome back to my vlog channel. Oh, you sleepy? Okay. I just turned 33 and well, a few days ago, I couldn't celebrate my birthday on my actual birthday because I got COVID. I got it the week before and it was pretty painful this time around. I remember the first time I got it, it was nothing. Like I was, you know, walking around the house, I was able to work, I was able to just live a normal life. But this time around, I don't know if it's the new variant or whatever, but it was rough. I had body aches, I had a fever, and I am still coughing, unfortunately. But I am okay now, I have recovered. But apparently, according to my friends, they said that the cough lasts like weeks. But I've been taking these like Japanese cough lollies that really help. So yeah, hopefully the cough goes away. <coughs> because that would be lovely. But anyway, yes, I turned 33 and it doesn't feel like it because honestly, the last few years, it's kind of a write-off because we were in lockdown for you know months. And then last year I didn't celebrate because, <coughs> why didn't I? No, because we were moving to Japan. So I was really stressed out about that because we flew two weeks after my birthday. So yeah, um, this year I was sick. So I didn't celebrate on my actual birthday, but yesterday, so I started vlogging because Sophie and I had booked this fancy afternoon tea on a London bus. So, you know, I got dressed, I put in effort to do my hair and makeup. We got to the location where the bus was supposed to pick us up in Nihonbashi. Now, so funny. So I asked the staff um, at, where was it? Mitsukoshi where the um, London bus tour area was. So they were like, oh yeah, the bus tour, um, come this way. And as we were walking, he was saying to himself, is a London bus running today? And I was like, oh, that sounds suspicious. And I remember that he talked to other staff members and he was like, did you hear that the London bus is coming today? And all the staff members were like, no, we didn't hear. So, you know, I was kind of like, oh, did I not? book correctly. So you know me, I make careless mistakes all the time. I decided to check my phone, check the reservations. No, it was 100% correct. Sophie showed up and we were just waiting. And then um, <coughs> other people started showing up. So I realized, okay, look, it's not just us. Other people are waiting for the bus, so we're good. So we thought. Um, there were two other groups there. <laughs> Yeah, there were two other groups waiting for the bus. The bus was supposed to leave at like 3 p.m. and they asked us to arrive 15 minutes before. So we did arrive and by the time it was 3 p.m. when the bus was supposed to leave, the bus wasn't there. So everyone was like, what's going on? And the staff were trying to call the company but like no one knew what was going on. So one of the customers that was also in line just walk, just waiting around, he um, decided to check his email and then he found out that there was an email that was sent the night before, which no one read. <laughs> it's funny because no one read this email, um, but it pretty much said that the bus had broken down and unfortunately it was cancelled and we had to reschedule. So we cannot reschedule for another few weeks because obviously the bus is broken, so they have to fix it, which is going to take a while. So yeah, that was a fail. Um, I was all dressed up walking around, kind of looking stupid because I was like, you know, pretty extra. But it was okay, because then after that, I went to Sophie's place and I met her two new kittens who were so cute. They were really um, anxious and scared at the start, so they didn't want to say hi to me. They went under the sofa to hide. But then like, I started playing with them with like a cat toy. And after like half an hour, they started coming out, starting to play. Anyway, today I'm going to head to Ginza and have some lunch with Hannah. We're gonna get uh, fluffy pancakes, a happy pancake. I have not eaten there in like five years, so that's gonna be very exciting. Um, yeah, we're just gonna go to Ginza and walk around for a little bit afterwards, so let's head out.
so we finished our happy pancake craving satisfied i feel so good now we're just gonna go and quickly shop for some homewares oh this isn't look at this room light oh i can't take care of plants i killed my cactus you killed a cactus yeah eric got me a cactus for my birthday i called him charles and he died <laughs> did you water it too much i don't know <laughs> Laugh and be fat. Yeah, right. <laughs> be happy ever after. Yeah, okay. Let's take try these two. Should I get her this? Yeah. I think they'll like it. I think I'm gonna get one of these socks. I did some shopping with Hannah. We just um, wanted to buy some, you know, home goods because they only just moved to Japan a couple of weeks ago. So I really wanted to take Hannah to Three Coins because it's one of my favorite stores in Japan. It's so cheap and the stuff in there is actually really good quality, especially if you're looking for like little small knickknacks for your apartment to, you know, decorate. It's great for that. Um, but I also went to Daiso to pick up some things, so let's do a quick haul because it's been a long time since I've done that. got these sponges, these guys are freaking amazing for cleaning. When I was sick with COVID, I wasn't working because I was sick, but I was cleaning the apartment because, yeah, I just wanted to, you know, have a fresh start. I wanted to make sure the place was really clean for when I get better. So, um, I cleaned everything except the sink. Like, there's some gunk in it that just would not come out. So I decided to buy this because these, like, you just need water and you just scrub and everything comes off. It's so amazing. Then I got some gloves, earthquake pads. Now, of course in Japan, you know, earthquakes happen. Now, I bought a shelf a couple of weeks ago and I was decorating it. Then I realized if there's an earthquake, this shelf is going to fall over and everything on it is going to smash. So I got these pads to, you know, hold the shelf down so just in case if there's an earthquake it's not going to fall down but look to be honest i don't know if it's going to work and if it's going to actually hold it down because the shelf is kind of quite thin but we'll see it's better than nothing right okay so at three coins i got a bunch of stuff so i got a little vase just because i did buy some fake flowers and they kind of just like hanging around because there's no vases so i got this to decorate my studio i oh, also got a set of mouse toys for sophie's little babies hopefully they'll like them then i got a mini tripod this is just for one of my lights for filming so yeah i feel like even this background right here is quite nice so i've just been trying to you know play around with lighting around my apartment to figure out what looks good what doesn't and yeah so far i am yeah really excited for the content i've got coming up for my main channel which i i promise i will get done soon when i feel a bit better some socks so i can wear my flats and then i got two fragrances um look i don't know how they smell but i got them purely on the name love and be fat be happy ever after um but anyway guys um i think <coughs> now i'm back home i'm gonna quickly give Hina a walk because it is going to rain later today i think it's like typhoon season right now so you never know it's really bad because like it suddenly pours out of nowhere for like five minutes and then it stops so i want to take Hina out before all that happens i don't know if i mentioned this in videos before but Hina's really scared of umbrellas so when it rains, I'm not allowed to use an umbrella when I go walking because she won't walk next to me because she's scared. So yeah, not a fun time. Let's go out before it starts raining. Hey guys, it's been a couple of days. I am going to head to Roppongi today to have a high tea with the girls that Audrey organized. She wanted to organize it on my actual birthday, but because I was sick, um, we decided to do it a few days or a week later. So I'm feeling great right now. I feel so much better. So we're going to head out um, to the Sun and Moon restaurant in Roppongi. 
I haven't been there in a long time. The last time I was there was, I believe like seven years ago when they had the Sailor Moon exhibition in Rapongi Hills. Um, so I'm just gonna grab a taxi there because I am running late. So yeah, I can't wait to see the girls, let's go. It smells so good already. Oh, I want to yeah. like put this in like, my bathroom. Uh, the bath bombs I, tend, I don't buy because they make my... Yeah. I'm, just, I'm never going to use this again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 I'm trying not to rip it. Uh, I need yeah, more shower scrub actually. It's so hot. Yeah, I hope the smells are good. Yeah. <laughs> I love, I love, I love, I love like, Lush smells. Yeah, Lush honestly like, is so the best. Good. So good. Ooh, should I open this? Or should I open it? Like, oh, it's later. like it has the... Yeah. Um, Maybe I'll, that? Yeah, maybe I'll wait. Yeah. yeah. Thank you so much. Oh. I actually don't own anything. Really? Yeah, I don't. So, yeah. <laughs> My first, first Yay! I love Jumalo, but I really feel like it's the kind of thing I would never buy for myself. I would always buy it as a gift. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Ooh, it's a candle. Yeah, yeah. I love oh. candles. Oh, what a fancy thing. Mm -hmm. White, lilac, and rhubarb. Ooh, oh, <laughs> thank you so much. Of course, happy birthday! I love candles! Yeah, I wanted to get you some home stuff since yeah, I know you're <laughs> doing up the apartment yes. all night. I'm gonna use this for sure. I love candles. This is heavy. Sorry, it's so heavy. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah, it's a, like a throw for your living room. Oh. <laughs> but it's like very heavy, so be careful. Take a little bit out. Thank you! Thank you! You want a home with us? Thank you so much. Yeah, of course, of course. I made it back home. I had to get changed because I was so hot and just sweaty. Um, and I wasn't vlogging after the high tea because, well, we pretty much all went home. But then I had to carry all my presents so I couldn't really vlog. And oh, look at my arm. Like, yeah, they were heavy. But it was so much fun seeing the girls again because I haven't seen Tiffa in ages. Um, Sophie, I see all the time, and Audrey as well. But yeah, it was just really nice catching up. And I really need to get Tiffa to come over to my house sometime because we actually planned to have like a little mini play date for our dogs last year but then on the day that the play date was scheduled i got COVID, so we never rescheduled so i need to do that with her it was a lovely little high tea session um i have not been to Rapongi hills in ages as well so it was nice to see the area because um you know like i used to go to Rapongi hills quite often maybe like six seven years ago but now not so much anymore but yeah it's like very different there's tons of new shops and new areas around so maybe i'll head back sometime but anyway um now that i'm changed i'm gonna head back out to walk in up with our neighbors um, we got a message in the group chat and they asked if we wanted to go out and you know just walk the doggies and have champagne and i was like why not so we're gonna go out and do that
had dinner, walked around. It's getting late um, and we want to get the train home, so we're going to head back. And yeah, I don't want to sleep straight away. I am pretty exhausted. Water. Yes. I am so tired. I have not been out this late for a very long time. I mean, of course, I was sick for the past two weeks but I had a very lovely birthday weekend oh you okay let me scratch for you yeah Hina's allergies have gotten a bit better but recently because there was a typhoon two days ago it got worse because I heard there's like a lot of pollen in the air right now which um has really been irritating her but yeah I had a really lovely um you know high tea with my friends and then at night time I went out to catch up with a friend I haven't um, seen in a while and I've got a bunch of friends visiting from Australia right now as well so yeah it was just nice um, nice day spending time with all my friends now that I finally can because you know I'm better um, it's actually funny because all of my friends um, did get COVID as well together at the same time as me but we've all recovered now so it's fine um, but yeah we explored Shinjuku because I have not been to Shinjuku in a very long time back in the days like six seven years ago I used to go to Shibuya and Shinjuku all the time it was like the place to be I loved it but now that I'm older yeah it's just not for me anymore I get very stressed out when I'm there um, so I only go if I have to go so Shinjuku was like a nice you know spot for everyone tonight because uh, we were all coming from different areas and it was the most convenient for everyone so we had an abizor that was great because i have not had hot pot in so long as well because you know summer it's hot not really you know the weather to eat hot pot but it has cooled down you know a lot over the past couple of days because of the typhoon we also checked out the kapukicho tower because okay it opened up ages ago I just don't go to Shinjuku often at all, so I never got a chance to check it out. And okay, look, it was cool. Like, there's an like arcade, there's also a cinema upstairs. I heard the cinema is very nice, and maybe I'll go there sometime. The arcade was like, you know, it was alright. But I do feel like it is, once again, a bit of a tourist trap, because some of the crane games were expensive. But yeah, um, we are back home now, and... I'm just going to, yeah, just take a shower, take my makeup off and head off to bed. I might actually try the uh, soaps that Audrey got me for my birthday. Oh, and also Sophie. Sophie got me this throw that I couldn't pull out at the restaurant because it was too heavy. But, oh, it's so beautiful. And this is going to be perfect for autumn. I'm going to put it on my sofa because... The blanket that we originally were using, we bought it over from Sydney, so it's really old. So yeah, it's time for a new one, and this one's perfect. I love it. Oh, actually, the chocolates are typical of me. Let's get that. Oh, these feel like some really fancy chocolates. Oh, yeah, you cannot eat this. I'm sorry, but you will get very sick. Sorry, you know. Oh, I'm going to try this one. I'm sorry, girl. I would love to give you some, but you will actually get very sick, and... You know when you're sick, you are really annoying. I'll give you some snacks later, I promise. Oh. Not good. Mmm. Yeah. I feel like I'm the worst food critic. Because if you ask me to explain anything I eat, I'm like, oh yeah, it's good. But no, it's actually really good. It has like a bit of a crunch to it. It was very light and what I liked about it is that it's not as sweet as I thought it'd be. Delicious. Yeah. Give me a boo. Thanks. Okay. Yeah. So you can eat these snacks. This is freeze dried natto for dogs. Can you give me a speak? Speak. Louder. Yeah, okay. Hina doesn't really like barking very much. So sometimes when you tell her to speak, she just moves her mouth. Come on, can you speak two times? Speak. You don't like barking, don't you? Then can you give me a sit? A sit and then high five. Yeah. Alright guys, I'm gonna end this video here. Thank you so much for watching. I had so much fun on this birthday week. Um, I promise I will try and upload. I keep saying this in every single vlog. I promise I will try and upload as much as I can, but I will actually try and promise this time around because yeah, I am very behind. I know on all my videos. 
but I will do my best to get them out ASAP because I have so many videos I have filmed I just need to get them edited so I promise guys soon we'll get them out very soon thank you so much guys for watching this video I love you all and I'll see you guys next time bye bye